Hey, so today we're going to be building a fully customizable auto clicker for Minecraft using Python. It's going to take care of mending any items that we have, and you're going to be able to AFK for long periods of time because if you have multiple stacks of food, it will switch between those food slots so that you can heal and you won't die from starvation. So if you haven't already, you're going to need to download the latest version of Python, and I'll include the download link in the description. We're also going to need two modules to handle our clicking and our keyboard actions while we're AFK. So for that, we're going to need to install keyboard and we're going to need to install PyAutoGUI. And these links will also be in my description. So I already have both these modules installed, but in order to install them, you're going to want to open up VS Code and open up the console. And then you're just going to type Py M pip install keyboard and then you're going to also install pi auto GUI the same way and it says requirement already satisfied because I have them installed already so now let's get into coding so the first thing we want to do is to import all of these modules that we just installed so we're going to import keyboard and import pi auto GUI but we're also going to want to import time, which comes installed with Python already. Then the next thing we want to do is to add some variables. Our first variable that we want is the most important one, how long we're going to AFK for. And this is going to be in minutes. So we'll just say 30 minutes to initialize it, but if you want it to be longer, you can change it. And if you want to change it into hours, you just multiply it by 60. Two lines down, we're going to add something called attack cooldown. And this is the cooldown of the weapon that you're using. And a sword cooldown for full sweeping attack is 0.65 seconds. So we're just going to leave it at 0.65. But depending on what kind of XP farm you're using or what, where you're AFKing, this may change. So our next variable is going to be called input range. And this is going to be equal to AFK time. And we need to convert it into minutes because the way time works is it starts in seconds, so we need 30 times 60 to be equal to 30 minutes. And then we're going to divide it by attack cooldown. And now we can start building the logic of our clicker. So down here, we're going to print how many times we're going to be attacking. So we'll just say attacking plus stringify our input range plus times. And this will print to our console how many times we're attacking. And then we're going to use our time module and we're going to sleep for 10 seconds. And this will just allow you to navigate back to Minecraft before your clicker starts. So our clicker is just going to be a big for loop. So we'll have some number i. So for i in our range of our input range, turn that into an integer input range. We're going to print the attack that we're on. So if you AFK and you come back, you can see which attack you're on in your input range. And then we're going to use pi auto GUI to click. And once we're done with that, we'll print done. So this is all you need for a basic auto clicker. But we're also going to want to handle eating food if we're AFK for long periods of time so that we don't die of starvation. And we're also going to want to handle mending our items. So up here in our variables, we're going to add a first food slot. And we'll say this is food slot 9 and a last food slot, like 7. We're also going to add a food counter for how much food we have left. And let's say we have a full stack of food to start with. And we're also going to want to add time to eat, which is how much time it takes to eat your food. And most foods take about one and a half seconds, but it's 1.62 exactly for golden carrots, which is the food that I use. And we're also going to use type of food because each food have different saturation values. So we're going to make a dictionary called foods full of key value pairs. And the key is going to be the name of the food. 
and the value is how many swings your avatar can make before it needs to eat. So if your food is a baked potato, your avatar can swing 440 times before losing three hunger bars. And for golden carrots, which is the food that I use, you need 816 hits. And you can add more foods if you'd like. These are the two that I use mostly. So we'll just say our type of food for this purpose is going to be foods and you search by the key, golden carrot. So now your type of food is equal to 816. So now we can build our function for eating food. So we're going to define a new function called eat food and we're going to call our keyboard module. And we're going to use its send method to send some number. And in this case, we're going to send our first food slot. So this is going to ask keyboard to press first food slot for us. And it'll switch to nine in our hotbar in game. Next, we're going to make a new variable called reporter. And this will just tell us what we're switching to in our console. So we'll say switching to percent %s. And then we're going to use this reporter in a print statement to print which button we're clicking to. Next, we're going to keyboard, press shift. And this is going to have keyboard hold down our shift button for us and we'll print to the console that we're eating. Then we'll sleep for 0.5 seconds. Then we're gonna ask Pi Auto GUI to hold down our right mouse button so that we actually do the action of eating in game. Then we're going to sleep again for however long it takes to eat. And that's where we're gonna use our time to eat variable. We can now let go of our right button and print to the console that we have finished eating. Then we can sleep again and release our shift button. And now that we finished eating, we want to go back to our weapon and continue AFKing. So we'll use that keyboard send method again. And this time we're going to call our weapon slot. And then we're going to use our reporter and say that we're switching back to our weapon slot. But we have to define weapon slot because we didn't do that earlier. So we'll just go back up here and we'll make another variable called weapon slot. And this will be your sword or whatever weapon you're using. And I always keep mine in, in my first hotbar slot. So we'll just call that one. So under our main logic, we're going to add our eat method. So we'll just say if I modulo type of food is equal to zero, then we call our eat food method and our food counter drops by one. So if I is a multiple of 816, then we'll do this. But since we also have multiple food slots, we're going to want to add another check. So we'll say if food counter modulo 64, and this is just saying if we've run out of food in our first slot, and we still have more food slots, if our first food slot is not equal to our last food slot, then we just decrease first food slot by one. And we'll go on to our next food slot. So now that we're done with our eat logic, we can handle mending items. So up at our variables again, so we're gonna have our first mending slot, and let's just call this equal to two and we're gonna have a last mending slot. Let's say this is equal to five. Now we can go down here and make a new mend item function. 
So we'll use our keyboard send method again and ask our keyboard to go to our first mending slot. So this will say go to number two in your hotbar. So we're just going to use our reporter variable that we made earlier and say that we're going to first mending slot. Then we're going to sleep again for 0.5 seconds and keyboard send F or whatever your offhand hotkey is. And then we're going to sleep again for 0.5 seconds and keyboard send back to our weapon slot. And then we're just going to print reporter weapon slot. So we'll do another if statement. So we'll say if i modulo 50 is equal to 0, so every 50 hits, you're going to switch what's in your offhand. And first mending slot is less than or equal to your last mending slot. Then we'll just mend item. And then, of course, we want to increase first mending slot by one. Before we start, we're going to want to add one more thing. We're going to add pi auto GUI dot pause, and it's going to be the length of our attack cooldown. And now, we're done building our fully customizable auto clicker. In order to use this, you're just going to want to make sure all your variables are set. So I'm going to AFK for 10 minutes, and my only food slot is my ninth slot in my hotbar, and I have 41 golden carrots left, and I want to mend items 2 through 6 in my hotbar. If you're in VS Code, you can just click this play button up here. Once you click play, it'll start running. And you can see our reporter gives a message that we're attacking 923 times. Now let's go over to Minecraft and our auto clicker just starts working. So now it's been 10 minutes and I gained a lot of XP. I didn't have to eat because it was only 10 minutes, but all of my items are repaired, as you can see. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun watching. Maybe this can be useful for you in your Minecraft world, especially since we're in quarantine and everybody's playing Minecraft again. Have fun. See you next time. Thanks for watching.